welcome friends welcome to my youtube channel and as you know i discuss topics related to hvac project management and motivation i request all of you if you are not subscribed yet please subscribe my channel and take valuable inputs from this channel spread it to your friends your contacts and your colleagues they will definitely get some value out of this channel so let's start with today's topic and topic is types of diffusers or types of air terminals in hvac so you must be seeing you must be saying this is a very basic topic but this topic is very very important because right selection of air terminals for discharge of conditioned air to the space which we want to condition is very very important if you select a wrong air terminal you will not get the desired quantity of air you will have problems of maintaining the desired condition in that space so it is very important though it is basic but it's very important that we must discuss this right it is very important after some time to go back to basic unlearn and relearn so with that objective i decided to have this topic the first important diffuser in hvac is a linear diffuser you must have seen these are long narrow slot grills that provide a linear pattern so you will have linear air flow coming down from these slots to the space where it is to be conditioned so it will have you so you will have linear pattern of air coming down from these diffusers these are generally used along the walls you can see the picture here yeah mostly in the ceiling and generally for the office application so you will have many offices maybe your common areas or cabins you will have these in individual office that will give a linear pattern of air that cools or conditions that space so this is first type linear diffuser the, se the second important diffuser is round diffuser and this is with respect to having 360 degree pattern of air so you have in center of a room you get 360 degree pattern of air coming to your room so you are almost every area is occupied by the air which is coming from this diffuser so it is commonly used where radial pattern of air flow is preferred yeah smaller offices conference rooms mostly architect generally prefers this with respect to its look so if they want a round kind of look if there are some round element in the ceiling they would prefer this type of diffuser the next one is a rectangular diffuser widely used you must have seen most of our applications right they are ceiling mounted right and you must have seen the square diffusers most of these places commonly used in malls retail offices they again have air pattern from the four sides you can see the four sides over here right so these are commonly used square or we can call rectangular rectangular i have not seen many but squares are very very commonly used the next is high induction diffusers and you can see from the image here designed to induce and mix room air with the supplier so within the room it will take the room air get the supplier and it actually promotes better air circulation and minimizes the temperature stratification so this is why this induction diffuser is used commonly when you have large rooms large areas where you want to do a conditioning of air or air conditioning you use these diffusers right you can use multiple of those and you get a better cooling or conditioning effect this is not that commonly used it is called displacement diffuser generally used you must have seen in the airports lobbies or the arrival or departure lounge you must have seen these are at the floor levels they are generally low velocity supply air risers so you don't get a draft when you go along these diffusers otherwise if you put this diffuser on the floor and if you go you know nearby the diffuser you will find a, a draft of air coming at which is generally irritating 
so these are low velocity flow type diffusers that rises in, so the air rises from below and get diffused to the area which is to be air conditioned or to be conditioned right so basic this is basically with respect to the aesthetical aesthetical requirement of an architect from the floor you must have seen these in the airports or you must have traveled out, outside and must have seen in large spaces where the air distribution is from the floor then swirl diffusers this has got vanes which provides a swirl action the action of swirl and that is the pattern of air the swirl pattern of air which comes from this diffuser this is again with respect to aesthetic requirement and it gives a very good you can say aesthetic view to the architects when they design these spaces then we have slot diffusers so they have single slot two slots three slot four slots they have sleek pattern and a modern appearance I, I i have been visiting middle east you know recently and i've seen this is the most commonly used diffuser across the applications right all the offices all the malls you go you will not find linear grill you'll find it is replaced with diffuser it looks good it has got a, a multiple slots the air comes down very very easily you can adjust that slot you can do the uh, distribution pattern accordingly right and suitable for contemporary as i said architectural design and applications where discrete or aesthetic diffuser is desired so you can have a, a full length diffuser you can have slot of different length depends on the what architect and the reflected ceiling requires so this is most commonly used again a slot diffuser thank you so much for your patient listening i tried to cover the diffusers of hvac for the air distribution of air conditioning or or any other application maybe in ventilation application these are the diffuser which are used hope you have liked this content and i request you to please subscribe my channel follow me on youtube facebook linkedin and ajaskasi.com please spread this knowledge and if you still not subscribe please subscribe thank you